Welcome back for my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Monday 8th of June. Let's have a look at my final chart today, and that is gold. And we've been increasingly sort of pessimistic about the outlook for gold in recent uh, few sessions, and that seems to be the right way to be still. Um, just if you look back to mid-May, really, the number of negative candles and the magnitude of those negative candles outweighs the sort of positive moves that you get through gold. And subsequently, we're seeing this run of lower highs and lower lows. You've broken that support at 16.93. That um, sort of came through on Friday pretty much on a confirmed basis uh, with a sharp downside move in the wake of payrolls. And it pretty much now paints a picture of a range play, really, doesn't it? Um, I've drawn in these extra lines. Um, 16.68 was the reaction low. Uh, late, um, sorry, early May. 1670 was reaction low on Friday, but then you could extend up to the, the resistance lines uh, being 16, uh, sorry, 1746 to 6, 1764. So effectively, you're in a trading band over the last two months now, um, and we're trading sideways within that band. You can see that momentum indicators are definitely not positive um, by any means now. RSI sort of settling in the low 40s. Uh, it's been there for a week now. Uh, MACD lines pulling quite strongly lower actually towards neutral and likely to go below neutral. So that would again suggest sort of configuration of a neutral um, at best scenario. You've got this tick back higher today, but is it already starting to run out of steam, you'd argue? Um, RSI on the hourly, 60 seems to be where the failures have come in. Uh, in recent in recent days, it's currently at 53. MACD lines, bear crossing just above neutral. Are they even going to get there would be the question. Stochastics already rolled over in the last couple of hours where we started to see negative candles on the hourly coming through. So closing back underneath 1689 would again sort of add that sort of negative bias probably for maybe even testing the lows 1660 to 1668. Um, and it, it is taken certainly a, a turn for the worse um, in the last uh, week on, on gold and um, certainly looks as though that it, at best it's a range play now. So you've got the resistance overhead, which 1720 to 1725 if you can get there on gold. But essentially, I think already this rally is running out of steam a little bit. Um, the 1700 bucks mark is, is psychological more than anything, but you could argue it starts to come in as a basis of resistance as well. But yeah, we're just starting to possibly again roll over on gold. And yeah, that just adds to this air of pessimism that sort of now has taken over, seeing as we previously we were pretty positive, positive, optimistic even, now turning over lower highs, lower lows, and at best ranging. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars. And also click to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas.